Hey guys, Max here, and today I wanted to share the best practices to set up MX, SPF, DKIM, and DMART records to make sure you have a good deliverability when you're sending cold emails. This is really important because major email providers like Gmail and Outlook use these records as part of their filtering algorithms. So it's really important to properly setting them up to ensure that you're compliant with their policies and also to reduce the chances of your emails being rejected. So let's get straight into it. I just, I'm on the Google workspace right now. And as you can see, I just bought this domain to show you guys how it works. And once your domain is on the Google workspace, that's exactly what you want to do. Uh, by the way, to buy your domains, I might do another video on that, but you want to make sure you buy .com domains and you can use providers such as GoDaddy, Namecheap, um, those websites are really good to buy good domains that are reliable. So I bought this one on GoDaddy to uh, show you guys today. So the first thing you want to do, once your domain is connected on the workspace, you want to click on activate Gmail. So you want to do after setup MX record, and it's going to send MX record directly to the GoDaddy DNS settings. So we're going to wait uh, uh, for the, act the uh, activation of the Gmail and because it takes approximately five minutes and then we're, we're going to come back once it's done. Okay. So now the Gmail is activated. So as you can see here, it says Gmail activated. So now you want to go in GoDaddy or, or your uh, domain provider to then find the domain and then go in the DNS settings. So I'm just going to click on uh, the domain we just uh, bought and then go into DNS as, as you can, as you will see, uh, Google now automatically puts the MX and SPF records. Okay. So you can see here, all the MX are, uh, um, everything is good in terms of MX here in GoDaddy. Um, the only thing that you want to change here is in the SPF. So you can see there's two records for SPF, but we actually only need one. So we're going to do some uh, modifications here. The first thing you want to do, you want to edit this one and you want to make sure this is as TXT. And uh, here you want to put this, all right, instead of what it was written. And then you want to save this one. So this one is the SPF record that you're going to keep. The other one we're going to delete. I'm going to show you how to do it. So here for this other one, we actually don't want this one. We don't need this one. So just delete this part and then just keep this, then save it save because otherwise you won't be able to delete it if there's just nothing. So just keep it like this and then delete this, uh, this record directly. So that's it for MX and SPF. It's really straightforward, really easy. Now we're going to go into DKIM. So we're going to want to do the DKIMs. So let's do DKIM. So when you're in the Google workspace, just write DKIM in, uh, in the search bar, and then you're going to find the DKIM space right here. Now you want to make sure you select the right domains, because if you don't select the right one, you're not going to have the right, uh, record uh, to put in your DNS. Okay. So click on the right one here. So as you can see, I have a, many domains here. Uh, so growth And as you can see, there's no value yet because we need to generate it. Okay. So we generate, we click on generate new record, generate, and then it's going to generate, uh, some records here. So we want to take the value, want to copy it, and then we're going to go in back into the DNS. We're going to click on add new record. And uh, here it's a TXT, if I'm not mistaken. So it's a TXT here. You click on TXT. Then in value, you're going to paste what you just uh, copied. And then you're going to copy this as well to then uh, put here in the name. Okay. So Google dot uh, dom domain key here and the value, and then you're going to hit save. All right. So now, uh, when you, once you do that, um, you want to authenticate the DKIM uh, record, but it might take up to five to 10 minutes for it to populate directly in your uh, DNS settings. So you want to wait approximately five minutes and then you click on uh, start audit, um, authentication. And then it's going to say your DKIM is, uh, is set up the right way, whatever it is, whatever message it is. And then you're, you're, you're good to go. So now we want to set up DMARC settings. Okay. So to set up DMARC setting, it's really straightforward. Also, you want to write easydmark.com. Okay. And you're going to go on this website and there's everything you need to set up the DMARCs here. So you click on products here and you go in DMARC record generator. 
Okay. So now you want to write the domain that you have. So minus this. So growthautomate.com. Then here for rep, uh, reports, you can put whatever email uh, you want. Um, you can have a specific email for your domains. I don't, I would not advise you to like write, put the normal domain, the normal email you use because there's going to be a lot of reports and you don't want that. So just put another email. It doesn't really matter. And here uh, for subdomain policy, you want none. Here you want relaxed, relaxed and then you're good to go to generate. So generate the record here, and then you're gonna see you have, you, you'll you have the record, the, the value of the record here. So you wanna copy it. Then you wanna go and go that again in the DNS settings, you add a new record, uh, you put this as a TXT, and then you're gonna add the value here uh, from what you just copied, you're gonna paste it in value, and then you're gonna put uh, exactly this as the name of the DMARC here. Okay, so that's that. And then you hit save. And then it's going to update the record. And that's it. So really, really straightforward, really easy. Uh, what you need to uh, take into account is that you will need to do this for all the domains you have. But as I said, this is really important. It's really not that hard to set up the DNS uh, settings properly. I would advise you to just build an SOP for one of your VAs to do it. Really simple, but super important to uh, get the deliverability right when you're sending uh, cold emails and so that your domains keep a good reputation to when you're sending emails. So I hope this was uh, valuable. It was Max and I hope you have a really good day. See each other in the next video. Bye-bye.